Now, Way 31 Storm Tracker Meteorologist Grace Anello with 31 Triple Doppler. As you're waking up and heading out the door this morning, you're going to notice things are slightly more mild than they were just yesterday. And if you're like me, that was a welcomed change. You can leave the umbrella at home, but I'd grab a light sweater, not the heavy winter coat you needed yesterday, but just a little something to throw over your shoulders until we warm up. What we're all going to want? Sunglasses. You're going to need those all day long. 31 triple Doppler at 618 on your Tuesday really is looking fantastic and quite calm. No rain on this radar today. Today. Around the Rocket City, we're chilly, but we're not downright cold. Waking up in the upper 40s as you're heading out the door right this second and clear skies all across the region. It's going to be a little bit closer to 7 o'clock this morning before the sun finally wakes up with us. But once it does, well, we're going to see a whole lot of that sunshine all day long. We're sitting in the mid 40s in Muscle Shoals, so just a hair cooler. You might want a little bit of a heavier sweater, but still not that winter coat. Now we do warm up rather quickly today. By the time we get to 9 a.m., we're already sitting at the 60 degree mark, so if you are leaving with that sweater, you probably won't need it for very long. However, that doesn't translate into later this afternoon. We're warming a lot faster, but we're warming to essentially the same place that we were yesterday. We'll reach a high temperature in the Rocket City of 83 degrees, the same in Muscle Shoals and Scottsboro. We'll keep it at 81 in Decatur and Fort Payne. You are just hanging on to those upper 70s, sitting at 79 degrees for your high temperature temperature a little bit later on today. Now yesterday we were at 82 today we're 83 and as we head through the rest of the week we are very gradually warming all the way taking us to Friday. Friday is the warmest day of the week sitting in the upper 80s. We should be sitting in the mid 70s for this time of year so making it to nearly 90 that's above average without question. Plus it's a little too hot for most of us but we won't hang on to those upper 80s for long. Even by Saturday we're back in the mid 80s but then we we have a cold front moving through later Saturday afternoon and into the evening. Unfortunately, this particular system does not bring any rain with it, which isn't exactly our best thing. However, it is going to rapidly cool off those temperatures, particularly Saturday and then later into this weekend. So we're going from 87 Friday to 84 Saturday, then to 78 degrees on Sunday. So we really will cool down. Even still, though, that's still above average. We should be sitting in those middle 70s, but we're not looking to see those any point soon. Now, yesterday we spoke about the 10% chance of rain coming on Monday. That seems to have fizzled out. What has remained consistent is that later Wednesday afternoon, Wednesday overnight, and Thursday rain that we are still going to see. Keep in mind, next Wednesday is Halloween. So if you're thinking about trick or treating outside, I would also start thinking about how your Halloween costume is going to look if you have a rain jacket or a poncho with you. Most of that rain will be later into the overnight hours, but it's at least something to consider. Our wake up temperatures tomorrow and for the remainder of the 10 day, essentially sitting in the 50s each day.